Welcome to the next part of this exercise. Here we have then the corresponding diagrams, along with their appropriate analytical values. And which at present, pertain to the currently selected case. Are that of the dead load of the structure. And hence we may go ahead, and choose a different case from the drop-down menu, so we can check its corresponding diagrams. Including those belonging to either combinations. And at this point worth noting, that if the displayed diagrams seem a little out of proportion, we could always return to this panel, and request them to be normalized. Nevertheless, and for analyzing these results with more ease, we can also check these diagrams not just for the whole model, but for specific frames in the structure, or even for specific members. But let's return to the previous view of the model, and continue by taking a look at some other available types of results. Let's just normalize the results, as these are significantly out of proportion. Now and by taking a quick look at these results, we can clearly see that there's a significant deformation on these particular group of members. In this case, do the particular size of their section. Meaning that this is probably too small. Although let's remember and as we said earlier, that all this is just a first design proposal for the structure of this model. And that we're still allowed to perform changes, if need be.